<clears throat> okay, um, I'm going to start out uh, the presentation and we'll first go through the agenda. I'm going to go over what is exactly meant by uh, requirement specification and system design and how we're doing that at General Motors using uh, Doors, Gears, and Rhapsody. Uh, and I'll, then I'll simply talk about what we're doing in Doors, uh, product line variation in Gears, and then showing how we're doing uh, allocation of requirements in Rhapsody and then have kind of a brief, brief summary. Okay, so um, to set the kind of the background, um, I'm sure you're all familiar with General Motors. Um, we have, if you think about it, we really have one of the most complex system and software product line engineering challenges in the world. Um, automobiles today uh, have up to 100 different processors on them, all communicating them, communicating over different network technologies. Um, you know, there's starting to be a lot of user, different user interfaces in the, uh, in the vehicles. Of course, all the engine and uh, mechanical components are all controlled by uh, electronic controllers through uh, electronic actuators and sensors. So if you, if you think about that, the car is really kind of a, a rolling software uh, platform. So when it comes to doing controls and software, GM has about 3,000 engineers in the world who work on that. Um, if you, you know, these are just some numbers about having around, say, 300 different subsystems. When we say subsystem, maybe a subsystem would be, uh, you know, determining the gear that you're in or uh, processing voice prompts or even, you know, managing the windows in the vehicle, right? So uh, you can imagine that we have, you know, thousands of feature variants. Uh, a millions of products each year are being built, right? And and we have a lot of unique variants. So when you think about you think about all the different kinds of cars there are um, and all the different options, you can start to get an idea of the complexity of all that. So when you're trying to engineer that from a you know software perspective, you want to try to commonize on that as much as you can, right? And so how do you handle those issues? Um, there's been a kind of an explosion over the last five years, right? I mean, people are expecting their cars to be, you know, like an iPhone, right? I want to get a new one. I want things to be updated. I expect it to work with all the new gadgets that I have. So it's really kind of really, uh, you know, we've had a pretty good growth curve before, but I, I, I would say pretty much now it's gone exponential. Um, so with all this complexity, uh, we've tried to kind of clean the slate a little bit and, and step back and say, well, look, how can we come up with a better design process that more highly integrates requirements, product line engineering, and system design. And uh, we've been working on this for several years. We actually have deployment of it. It is starting, you know, it's being rolled out. We're not to the end of it yet, but the parts I'm showing you right now um, have been deployed and being adopted, and, and we are migrating, uh, you know, all of, our, all of our requirements and designs into these tools. Um, so one of the things that uh, items to capture is that um, when we design a product feature, we we really design it to be off the shelf. It can be deployed to any vehicle. So if we're going to design, you know, a a, uh, a fast, um, a high speed, uh, reversible power window control, right? We're gonna we're gonna do that, and it's going to be available to be used on any car. We're not going to design it one for a Cadillac and a different one for a Chevy. So what we want to do is we want to write our requirements functionally, and we don't have any details of the implementation or design. Uh, traditionally, I think you'll see a lot of that is done in requirements. Um, we're really going through pains to wipe all that stuff out. It's really functionally what we want to do, and I'll show you that. Uh, product variance, uh, which is a huge part of our, our job, we, you know, we manage that in a special tool called Gears. 